I used Maven a lot in my backend projects. Why? Because the build file was simple. It never changed because um, Maven relies heavily on convention over configuration and in backend project, this is the way to go. So um, as you can see, this is my template for an ancient uh, Jakarta or Java E even um, archetype. And there were just two dependencies, nothing else, no plugins. And so we went in production usually with 30 lines of POM XML or less because the microprofile dependency came later. At the beginning, we only had Java E8. So there was one single dependency for the entire project. So now this changed a bit with uh, recent versions uh, of Java because um, I tend to use Java for automation, command line, interface, apps, scripts, and so forth. So what I'm usually doing, I'm creating, I'm starting with a folder, let's say p hello for plain. And uh, in the folder, what I can do, I can just, uh, for instance, create a file, Java, then if I like, open Visual Studio Code, for instance, click on Java, and the Visual Studio Code should recognize that this is a, a, a Java project, so I can ask to create a file, uh, sorry, a class, and then, um, yeah, just run hello, and this basically it. So what I can do right now, I can just say um, app Java, and it works. So this works perfectly well, so I could read files and so forth, but if I need the first dependency, external dependency, I have to add the jar somehow to the class path. So, and even in Java 22, I could actually have, you know, references between files or even use, you know, uh, libraries like orgjson, so just watch uh, my shorts where, where I did it, uh, without compilations. But if I had an, an, a jar, which I sometimes I need, for instance, JDBC driver, or uh, uh, AWS SDK, or a JSON library, for instance, then um, it becomes a little bit more problematic. So, so what I did uh, instead of this, usually I also used Maven for that. So let's take a look. So let's close this one. And uh, for instance, I created another template. It's called Java Plane here. And uh, this template, um, so you have to clone it and run it. So I already have it on my machine. And I say set up Java project. And um, let's call it Maven Hello. So this is the project. So it opens, so this is just a script and opens automatically the, um, the Visual Studio code. So, and if we take a look at the POM, we see the POM uh, comprises the first plugin because it has to bundle the uh, jars, create an Uber jar or uh, executable jar. So, and actually, if you um, we have the Surefire plugin for recent ones and we have the Java 21 declaration. So interestingly, for plain Java, this Maven build file became twice as long as for my Jakarta E and MicroProfile projects. And um, so I could, of course, run it. So if I'm here and say Maven package, it will create uh, for me a executable jar. So uh, if I'm in the target, I can run jar m hello, and it should work. It's working, it works. And so this is the Maven experience, which is okay. But the problem is what I don't like, I, uh, I have to use my template because uh, otherwise I will have to, to, to create this build script um, over and over again, or this Maven POM over and over again, and uh, which is not fun. And um, yeah, so it's hard to memorize what to do here. So now let's take a look at, uh, at Builder. So let's uh, close that one. And uh, this is actually, you can clone all the templates from my uh, Maven repository, or Maven GitHub repository. And um, so this is the Builder. And uh, let's create a Builder project and for that, today, I already um, recorded another uh, video about Builder, but uh, today I would like to Builder without installation. So I have already uh, Maven installed, but Builder is not installed on my machine. So I will pick this one. So um, I just copied that and run it. And it downloads, installs Builder and asks me, okay, what do you like to do? So I would like to have a Java app. So let's do this. And AirHacks is usually my package name. And now call it B hello for builder hello. So, and it creates the project, downloads the dependencies into the project, which is also nice. And uh, let's go to B hello. So now let's open the, the thing here. 
And um, so I have my builder project. And the uh, difference is that if we go to builder, just make it larger, um, builder and build. So this is the entire build script written in Java, which comes with interesting possibilities. What I, for instance, do, I can iterate here and set the versions programmatically if I like, but th that, that's not the point today. Uh, what builder also ships with is built in dependency resolution, which is Maven compatible. So what I could do here, I can, for instance, uh, declare dependency to my jar, uh, to, to my jar, to my GDBC driver or uh, AWS SDK, or uh, I don't know, uh, whatever I need, right? JSON library, this is actually what I need frequently. And um, and I use Yason for that usually. And um, so this is basically it. And the source code uh, of the application is here, build a main. So now what I can do is I can say build a compile, which is a bit boring, but this is the out of the box experience and this is the performance of compile, this is quick. But if I run builder um, here, we will see that it also ships with interesting option called Uber jar. And the Uber jar is the executable jar. So what I can immediately do, say builder Uber jar and run it. And it created my Uber jar, which I can start uh, Java minus jar in, uh, I think it is, uh, wait a second, it is in build, uh, dist and be hello uber and it works so um, i think for um, automation projects and small cli apps builder is really interesting and fast alternative to maven